While we're running our pressure canners, now's a good time to talk about the science behind food preservation. Over here, we have set up a giant-sized pH scale. The pH of foods is one factor that is important in determining how foods are safely processed. Other factors that come into play include water activity, which is the me measurement of how much moisture is available in the food. It also depends on the size of the food pieces. It can depend on how thick the product is. It can also depend on the size of the jar, how the food is packed into the jar, whether you use a hot pack or a raw pack. So there are many factors that play into this in order to determine the process time that each food or food product needs to have. So this is our pH scale for today. And a pH scale runs from one up to 14, which is way on the end. A pH of seven, which is right over here, is what we call a neutral food. When it comes to food preservation and through scientific research, it has been determined that the dividing line of these foods, the, the point on the scale is 4.6. Anything that is below 4.6, which will be from one up to that point, is what we call a high acid food. These include products like lemons, any kind of pickled product, these are plums, apples, peaches, strawberries, and tomatoes run really close to the 4.6 line. This is a jar of orange jelly. This would also be a high acid food. Over here on this side of 4.6 up to 7 are some vegetables such as peppers, green beans, carrots, meat and onions, potatoes, corn, and peas. So for high acid foods, with the science that we've learned about these different kinds of foods or food mixtures, these can be processed in a water bath canner. We only need to get the temperature up to 212 degrees, which is what a water bath canner will do. For any foods that are above 4.6, which is all of these foods, we must process them in a pressure canner, and this is our pressure canner. This gets the temperature up to 240 degrees, and this will make sure that we kill any potential botulism spores that might be in the product. Botulism is the primary bacteria that we're concerned about when it comes to canning. And these types of foods, all these vegetables and meat products, these will support the growth of botulism if they're not processed properly in a pressure canner. So by getting them up to 240 degrees, then we'll kill the botulism and we should not have any problems. To measure the pH of a food or a food mixture, we use what's called a pH meter. And this is an example of a pH meter that we would use in a laboratory setting. So this salsa is a mixture of tomatoes and peppers and onions. So our tomatoes have a pH of right around 4.6. Then we start adding peppers and onions to this and we're making it a lower acid food because the pH number is getting higher. So that makes it more of a low acid food. So on salsa, in order to make it safe to process in a boiling water bath canner, we add either lemon juice, lime juice, or vinegar. And that will drop the number down and make it a higher acid food. So let's take the pH of our salsa mixture and we'll see what our pH meter tells us. And we basically just stick the probe into the, the mixture and we watch for the pH meter to stabilize and it's telling me it is 3.96, which makes it about right here. So we have a higher acid food product now and mainly that's because we've added the lemon juice to this particular salsa recipe. So we can safely process that in a water bath canner and there should be no risk of any botulism occurring in that product.